Let's see if this thing updated. Yeah, it updated. Okay, so chat, what is this? Do you know? Do you, anyone? Anyone know what this is? This is Steven Spielberg's director chair. Maybe even director's chair. But essentially, Spielberg was dipping into video games, and this is a 1995 or 6 game, I think 96, where you choose your own scenes. So, my name is going to be... Vine... John. Steven Spielberg presents... A Vine John film. <laughs> Starring Jennifer Aniston, Quentin Tarantino. Yes, he acts too, a little bit. Penn and Teller, Catherine Helmand, and Barry Corbin. Not Corbin Dallas. So, I've never played this, but it looked too good. It looked too good not to play. Excuse me, where's this one going? State 17, watch your backs. Oh my god. Those graphics, man. Those graphics. I made it as loud as I could just now, chat. Welcome. I've chosen you to direct our next project, so welcome to the studio. Now, making movies is one of the greatest jobs in the world. You've got to have talent and intuition, patience and energy, and the real innate ability to tell a story and a comfortable pair of shoes. Of course, a great crew is also essential, what? so I've handpicked some of the best people in Hollywood to work with you, and I'll be around to guide you through the process from writing the script to premiering the film. The movie you're about to personally make. Can you introduce so me to George Lucas? Operations and please sign in. Whoa, you know George Lucas? Whoa, just a minor trembler, nothing to really worry about. Welcome to Southern California. <laughs> I'm your PA, that's short for production assistant. Come on into operations to sign in. It can't start production until you do. I love all the little tricks they tried to do in the 90s to get, um, to get all the FMVs onto the disc by making the characters in the movies very, very, very small. But, um, yeah, let's see. Let's go to graphics. You need to sign in here in operations before you can start work on a film. God damn it. All right. I'm here to assist you. If you ever need help, just click on the page or I'll leave it here on the desk. Oh, I know I have it here somewhere. One second. Do you know how to make the game louder? Got it. Please. Oh, man. Okay, now this is studio operations where you get started. So grab one of the blank slates, and then sign in. Um, Mr. Spielberg? Mr. Spielberg, um... Why do you have a Before Pentium 2? Before you do anything, you need to sign in on an available slate. The slates are kept over there. Remember, if you have any problems, drag the page. My dad has a Pentium 3. Mm-hmm. Okay, got it. They sent me on a run, but don't worry, I'm still there for you. If you need me, just click on my pager and then drag it over to the place where you have the question about. Now, this is a special pager. I've programmed it to give you the information you're looking for. If you get lost or you just want to know how to do something faster, click on the PA pager button. It'll show you everything you need to know about the room you're in. Well, that's another call. Gotta go. Yeah. All right. 
Uh. If your name is correct, hit yep. OK. Yep, I'm Vine John. It's on the newspaper when you're done reading it. I want to direct uh, the guys films. guys the studio are thrilled you're directing this picture, but they run a tight ship here, so they're going to monitor your budget and schedule on a daily basis. Here, take a look, then click on it to move on. My shoots would click be very late. when you're done reviewing it. And they would go wildly over budget and make 3% back. You should go next to to start writing your script. Click on the exit icon over there to go out to the lot. Just move your mouse to the right or the left and have a look around. Haha. <laughs> okay, I am a Hollywood now. I make movie. Who is this creepy man walking towards me? Haha. <laughs> oh, you see mirror. That's mirror. That's me. Haha. <laughs> bird. Why is there one cartoon bird and lots of realistic... Like, this does not bode well. This is the creep shack of Hollywood chat. You can tell because there's a bunch of ravens. Never more. Never more. It does not bird well. It all begins with the written word. We owe our careers to the writers. And my saying has always been, if it's not on the page, it's not on the stage. So we got you a couple of positively and really amazing, terrific writers, Ted and Terry or Terry and Ted, who have their own ideas, so learn early to collaborate, knowing that in the end, it's you who must make the final decision about the story that Speak you want to tell. So this is your first time up at bat. Keep it nice and simple. The story that's been greenlit is that of a prisoner wrongly accused of murder who's about to be executed unless his girlfriend can find who set him up. Unfortunately, this studio is only willing to let you tell one side of the story. So, whose story do you want to tell? The prisoners or the girlfriends? Hmm. Uh, I want to tell the prisoners' story. Why not? Great choice. That's exactly the way we would have gone. My name's Ted. My name's Terry. We co-wrote the animated film Aladdin. And so, in Hollywood, we're the, the true pair to write a prison picture. We're really excited to be working with ha, you. Ha, joke. Hey, we're your biggest fans. Biggest I'm fans. Bill, and I'm now, Ted. Listen, do you want to give some creative input in this story, or should we write it alone? Um, I want to work on the script. Okay, great. So it's just uh, you and me. And me. Uh, click on the outline so we can read through it. After you read through the outline, click on the sequence you want to use for the opening of the film. Can I drag it over to us and we'll write it? I'll write it. He'll type it. To turn the pages of your outline and script, click on the bottom corners of the pages. Okay, interior. Foot locker. <laughs> oh, God. Can, can you guys just write this instead? After you read through the outline, click on the sequence you want to use for the opening of the film. Then drag it over to us and we'll write it. I'll write it. He'll type it. To turn the pages of your outline and script... They apparently the really did write Aladdin. It's good. I like it. A grim-faced guard, Turnkey, is looking out a dark prison guard station, setting his watch to a nearby wall clock. Behind him, a news broadcast is playing an old black-and-white Philco television. He sits down in front of the TV, another guard, Screw, is sitting at the table, oblivious of the world around him. They resume a card game. All right. The scene is finished. Why don't you take this masterpiece, lay it in the script book? We're on a roll now. Excellent. Excellent! Hello, <laughs> Tarantino signs on to join Vine John's new film. I, again, kind of weird because Tarantino's up, not really known as an actor, but I'll take it. You want us to write. Keep it up until we finish the script. Mm. 
Do you see any other writers in this room? I don't see any other writers. Why don't you let us, hey, why don't you let us write that thing? One of these writers looks like Sting a little bit. It's like um, America's Choice Sting. It's good. I like it. Maybe I could... It... All right. The scene is finished. Why don't you take this masterpiece, lay it in the script book? We're on a roll now. Excellent. But... Mm. Can you guys just, just do this? Who's that? Who are, who are these peoples? Developers, perhaps? Boy, Hollywood, huh? It's good. I like it. That was your first day of pre-production. You made it. How you feeling? On top of the world? I'll bet. Keep it up. Okay, yep. There's a lot of pages here, chat. I, is, does anyone know? Seems it, like some people in chat know what this is. H how do I make them work? My, the working title will be... Film a working title. Don't worry, you can change your title trouble back in operations. afoot. FYI, by now, all the major papers and all the online services have read your script, so you'd better do something original with it. By the way, your script is now available in all locations and can be printed out in studio operations. That's cool. I just wish the writers would just write the damn thing themselves. We got a back lot we can film on. Oh, stage 17, that's fine. All right, let's film some scenes. Okay. Your screenplay is done, and it's been approved by the studio, which means that now you're ready to start production. Production is tough. You'll have to consider every decision you make. And because this is your first time, this studio is going to be constantly in your face on the budget and schedule. Don't worry, that happens to me too. If you plan your shots and you stick to your script, I'm sure you're going to do great. I never start production without first hiring a brilliant director of photography. The DP, they call them. Hi, my name is Dean Cundy. That's a fake Some beard. Some of the films I've shot include Jurassic Park, Casper, Back to the Future, and Roger Rabbit. Okay, that's a real beard. One of the most challenging sequences I've ever had to do was the raptor scene in the kitchen for Jurassic Park. The excitement of the storytelling had to be told by the images, which was greatly complicated by the fact that the images came at different times and from different places. Sometimes the actors were in empty rooms, sometimes the actors worked with large mechanical dinosaurs, <laughs> and sometimes the dinosaurs came from the computer. And all of this had to be tied together by the lighting and the camera angles. So you can see that movies are about images, and translating the director's vision of the story into images is my job. Okay. So I've read your script. It Very sucks. Visual. I've broken it down by moods, made choices about which lights to use, which lenses, and even what film stock is appropriate. So why don't you open the script and click on the first scene that you'd like to shoot. So I've uh, lowered my own volume a little bit so the game won't be so low. I cannot make this game any louder. Does anyone know how to make... Okay, so two things. One, I acknowledge that I wanted to help out the writers. That was my fault. I should have let them write it. So I was hoping I could change that. And two, does anyone in DOSBox know how to boost the volume in DOSBox? Turn yourself down, I just did. Press F10. Before you can start filming, you need to get out your script and select a scene. Script. John Vine. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna shoot this Let page. Place to start. 
The green viewfinder shows you where our master shot is set up. Master shot is a wide shot that shows all the action of a scene. As a novice, you'll be shooting all master shots. Click on the green viewfinder to load your shot, then the green camera button down there to roll camera. Hi, I'm Allison, your costume designer. We shot so late last night, all the costume houses were closed. I didn't have the pre-sizes when I left here last night. It's going to be an hour. Sorry. Do you want to wait for the priest's costume to be ready? <sighs> no, I'll shoot a different thing. Do we have any pages without Father Juarez? God damn it. You fucking ruined me! You're fucking done in Hollywood! This will be picture. Quiet, please. Rolling! Speeding! Action! The scene, Ravenswood Prison. Behind these cold stone walls, Jack Cavello eats his last meal, hears his last rites, and at 12 noon will walk that long last mile to the electric chair. The world was shocked when it learned of the brutal slaying of heiress Victoria Hemmerdinger. The killer's motive? Theft of her famed jewelry collection, including the spectacular Diamond Tiara del Fuego. Her trusted chauffeur, Jack Cavello, was arrested and convicted, but the jewels were never recovered. They're jewels. Instrumental in Cavello's capture were Sigmund Payne and Leroy Terror. Sigmund the Payne. <laughs> artists and personal psychics to Mrs. Hemmerdinger. Hemmerdinger. <laughs> led police to the murder weapon, a pearl-handled saber found in the trunk of Cavello's car. After you watch a shot, click on the red reel button down there to print it. That means you'll be able to take it to the editing. That's a print. Okay, we gotta film some Tarantino stuff now. If you want to shoot a new scene, you can either select one from your script book or use the scroll bar to find the scene you want. Hi, I'm Allison, your costume designer. God damn it, Allison. I, I guess that's the budget. <laughs> the budget going up. Okay, we're ready in wardrobe. We can go now. The first day of shooting is over. You can relax now, but not for long. It all starts again on the second day. Wait, what? Here, you better take a look at the schedule and budget clipboard to see. No, how you film more. Click on film it more. Pay it. You think Stanley Kubrick would, would stop filming? The dude would go 48 hours straight, no sleep. Quiet on the set. And rolling. Sound speed. Action. Cut. The scene's garbage. What are you doing? Oh. Trouble was afoot. It's it's so quiet. Uh, can I do a new take? Yeah, let's let's see. Can we do a new take? Print. Print. No, we can only. It's the same shot. It's the same scene. I just spent like 
a good chunk of my budget trying to film that scene again, even though we didn't we didn't film it. There's also an upscaled version of this uh, that I can show you. Then you have to edit DOSBox's config file to make it louder. Oh shit. Very quiet, please. Rolling. Speed on tape. And action. <laughs> Jack! I never hurt anybody! Jack! It's time. Any, any, any word from my girl, huh? Well, you're strapping me into old Sparky. She's trying to find the real killer. Any word from her? No, son. I'm sorry. What about the governor, huh? Any word from her? No, no, son. I'm really sorry. What about him? That's him? That's Tarantino. Him? No. I could already be a winner, you know. Sure, Jack. We know. Let's go, Cavello. It's time. Let's go, Cavello. Yeah. All right. Give me a second here, Chad. I want to try something. Um, there is the upscale version. I want to see if I can get that. Uh, I might need. Let's see. There was, there was a link I had. I can't find it right now. I think I just found it. Very good. So, let's see. Because this is how I found out about this. There was, um, a, like a, a thing that was posted about this. Like, the footage was upscaled. The scene. Ravenswood Prison. Behind these cold stone walls, Jack Cavello eats his last meal. Here's his last rites, and at... So we're gonna do calm Tarantino this time, chat. We got music this time, too. I didn't hurt her. I wouldn't hurt anybody. Jack, it's time. <laughs> Anyone for my girl? Well, you're trying to strap me in old Sparky. She's trying to find the real killer. Come on, Jack. You don't want to keep the man upstairs waiting. You don't want him pissed off when you get there. Trust me. Let's go, Cavello. It's time. Let's go, Cavello. You're <laughs> What? With the freely selected card, lost deep within the deck. Oh, it's Penn Teller. My partner Terror will psychically suck its identity from your minds. And is that your card? The three of clubs. Well, now we have volume. Thank you. For our finale, I need a volunteer from the audience. Someone with an adventurous soul, the thirst for the unknown, and the courage to seek it. Will, will I do? Yes. Very nicely. Right up here, please. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, creepy magician, please. <clears throat> What's your name? Jennifer Aniston. <clears throat> Laura. Laura. Lovely. <laughs> oh no! Simply lovely. I don't buy it from Penn Jillette, though. Is that part of the box? Our last trick is entitled The Beast Within. Is this adjusted here? Somehow they, they managed to make um, Penn Jillette even creepier than Quentin Tarantino. And that is truly 
Hollywood magic. There once was a beautiful woman unjustly imprisoned by an evil king. I'm not sure what this has to do with wow. the other plot, but maybe this is Tarantino's girlfriend. Uh. It's just like the murder weapon. Oh, but where did they hide the tiara? <gasps> oh, my gosh. Oh, God. <laughs> but the lady needed her freedom, and without it, her beauty began to fade, and her darker side emerged. <laughs> Hideous, isn't it? <laughs> get, get in there, there. Get in, get in there. Good job, Teller. You wrapped yourself up in single-ply toilet paper. But the king realized that he loved the lady, no matter what she looked like. Although, gorgeous babe was preferable. And it was his love that brought her back. Gee, how could he have escaped this <laughs> but, uh, box with a curtain behind it? She was, uh, right after she came back, she was uh, attacked by a roving band of raptors and uh, the king had her uh, stuffed and mounted, although uh, <laughs> not necessarily in that order. <laughs> Whew. Oh, dear Lord. Is it hot in here? Uh, what do you expect? A happy ending from guys named Pain and Terror? That is... Pain and Terror. Pain oh, God. And Leroy Terror, my partner. And uh, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Hardest working people in these rooms, the waiters and waitresses. Come on, tip them generously. I want to do comedy Tarantino now, please. Uh, actually, <laughs> could you boys show me where the complaint box is? Because I have a big old complaint. Uh, I never got my big Alaska. Oh. You, know, you know, the whole last mm. meal part of this execution, they said I could get whatever I wanted, mm. you know, uh, and I, I ordered the blowfish and the baked Alaska. And they figured, you know, if you blast me, you might as well try the blowfish then. <laughs> we could do yeah. that, you know? But I never got the baked Alaska. And, you know, I, I, th I don't think it's right that, you know, I think I want to skip this thing altogether. Because, you know, I don't just think this is the right way to go about this simply because <laughs> there's so many things I haven't seen and there's so many things I haven't done. Like, for instance, I've never been to Paris. Okay. What the fuck was that? I fear no evil, for thou art with me. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Can we get some and better lighting on Tarantino's face? Forever. On second ever. thought, maybe not. Amen. Lighting! Lighting unit! God, they filmed this at such crust quality. My god, even with the AI upscaling. Don't cry, Mark. I can be strong just as long as you don't cry. <laughs> I talked with Laura. She's sure those magicians have framed you. And she figured out a way to get backstage at her club. No. What's wrong with your mouth? What do you mean? Oh, too much ninja paste again. <laughs> wow. Spielberg put his name on this. Let's go. Now. Sorry, ma'am. Gotta figure out. Gun leg. <laughs> oh, oh, come on. Mom, are you okay? Come on, come on. Oh, faint. Oh, mom, please, please. I'm not sorry. She's, she's, she's sick. Okay, mom, what's the matter? What's the matter? My bursitis. Oh, your bursitis? Yes. I'll, I'll, I'll be like, okay? Holy fuck. <laughs> It was a dream.
Gunleg would later uh, show up in Grindhouse. So what do you think, chat? Good movie, right? Good movie. I guess that's it. I don't know. I thought I thought maybe there would be more. I've been just wasting the time of the actors this entire time. You haven't printed your shot yet. Do you want to print it before moving on? Yes. Good shot. Well, it was a pleasure working with you. Now, my job is done, so head over to the editing room and put this thing together. Oh, and I hope you'll think of me when it's time to shoot your next film. You don't... you really... I wrapped production on Trouble Afoot. I, I filmed two shots. Hold your horses there. You've got to edit your film before you can lay down sound effects. Come on, come to the editing suite. <laughs> Who knew Vinny could make such box office hits? I mean, hit, bomb, same thing. That Tarantino scene looked like goosebumps. So apparently there were four discs that came with this game. There's an old Hollywood saying <laughs> that all great movies are made in the editing room. You're going to take the footage that you've shot. Star Wars. And you're going to assemble it. Editing is about making choices without all the pressure of physical production. You and your film editor will be looking for the most original way to tell your story. This is a time for making decisions like faster or slower, funnier or scarier, longer or shorter. And this is the place where the director has the most control, and for me personally, where I have the most fun. Hi, I'm Michael Kahn, <laughs> and a few of the films I've edited are Raiders of the Lost Ark, Jurassic wow. Park, and Shadow's wow. List. Wow. Editing is always fun, and each new film presents a new challenge. While editing Schindler's List and Krakow, Poland, we were also finishing Jurassic Park. Jesus. We used a satellite Tonal shift. The visual effects company in Northern California so that Steven could view and approve the dinosaur footage. But even with all this technical wizardry... How'd you wrangle the dinosaurs? ...the importance of telling the story. This is the editing room, where you'll be creating your own story. The first step of editing any movie is to view all of your footage. Your PA will show you around the flatbed. The editing process can be fairly complicated, so I'm going to take you through it step... No, I'm, I use edit... Pudabi Premiere! Okay, how do? Please help. Please, I make mistake. I don't know Go how to do. Go ahead and open your script. Then pick the scene you'd like to start editing. Zook, zook. Good pick. Now, if this isn't the scene you'd like to... Okay. Now, the best thing... I don't have to fast forward through this. Vinny, did you watch the tutorial? Oh, 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 yeah. Well, I made some classic videos like Shitty Me's. Um, so I, I'm good. I know how to edit. Oh, and uh, me, Gangaga. I made that. And I made um, Pudding Drop. What was the other one I made? Hmm. So at least an at least one more video. Deadly Cuntsman. So those are some good videos that I've made. This the editor dude's like, hello, I've done editing for Raiders of the Lost Ark, Schindler's List, Jurassic Park. What have you done? Oh, I made a uh, Duke Nukem and a uh, Thumbtack Nerf Dart and Toilet Gun. All right, the movie's a hit, chat. The movie is a hit. What the fuck was that unrelated Jennifer Aniston scene, by the way? 
She, like, discovered the weapon and then there was no further... ...thing. You can't lay down a soundtrack before editing. We need to edit the film first. Come into the editing suite. Come on. Well, the idea being you can put sound effects and editing on top of what you filmed. Well, what they filmed for you and, uh, and you can make it wacky. Though, I don't think I have the patience for this right now. So we're going to probably... Vinny, you chose to um, tell the prisoner side, but but the video I showed you was from a web page. So that's just the story of of the thing. There. I really should have learned how to do this, but I don't. I don't think I'm going to continue streaming this. Um, it's all good. I'm I'm done with this game. Shame the volume was so low, but. That's just what it had to be. It, it's cool. We got to see the movie. Here's what I can do for you, chat. Instead of gun leg. The scene. Ravenswood Prison. Behind these cold I'll show you... A different scene or two. We saw the... Oh my god. Okay, so we're gonna do appropriate magician this time. And what is your name? <clears throat> Laura. Laura? Lovely. Simply lovely. Step right in the box. Our final illusion is entitled The Beast Within. Oh. Yeah. That seems like the right setting. There once was, was a beautiful woman. Unjustly imprisoned. It's a little creepy still. By an evil king. Okay, so we saw this scene. We know what this scene is. Scary teller. And we're gonna do serious Tarantino. He destroyeth my soul. Yea, for I walk through the valley of the shadows of death. I fear no evil. Which we've already Thou seen as well. Don't cry, man. Important Sorry, exposition. Cry. <laughs> I talked with Laura. She sure those magicians have frightened you. Ah, she there you go. You way to get backstage at their club. That's too dangerous, Ma. How could you let her do that? How could I stop her? She loves you, Jack. Maybe as much as I do. Man, it's better with the joke. He's about to die. Sorry, ma'am. We gotta figure out a way to give Laura a chance. If we only had more time. Tantrum diversion. Be late. Let's walk. Yeah, well, I don't want to be late now, do I? Um, uh, Mom? Well, I guess this is goodbye. You Wow, there was all this extra footage. Why is this happening? What? Shoot the priest! Shoot the priest! What? Why did he do that? Oh, saved by the liquor. You like me? Like me. Ay, Dios me libre. Qué bueno que está esto. 
¡Mmm, delicioso! But it was all just a dream. Yet again. Groundhog Day. Wait, Groundhog Day? Jack, it's time. Oh god. Uh, oh, oh god, what have I done? Meanwhile... That would have been some Estoy Lupin. I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> Like Tarantino being aware of, of his loop, I suppose. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, listen, I, I need to speak to the gov governor. She's uh, expecting my call. Did they, Who are you? Did, Chat, did you hear that? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, listen, I, I need to speak to the gov governor. She's uh, expecting the my call. The Gowtown? Who are you? Just one take. What's your game? Oh, no. oh, I was afraid it was old maid, but, um, but ever since I've uh, laid eyes on you, I've been more in the mood for hearts. You know, besides being a master illusionist, I'm also a genuine psychic. So do you, um, have a crystal ball? <laughs> That's an awfully personal question. Oh no. Well, uh, what do you predict for my future? Oh, I can't predict your future, my dear. Because you don't have. <laughs> Grab the sword. <laughs> Kill the shitty magicians. It's a fake sword. Oh my god, this this music. It's very extra, but that's, you know, you can, I guess you could choose the music. It's, it's time for humor. I don't think it's loaded enough. God damn it. I was enjoying that too. I was going to say too, like the, um, when he was sliding in a ridiculous fashion, shooting both guns, I could just already, like, I could just hear him say, because it's just so much fun, Jan. The music is Kevin McLeod. Oh. Okay, no humor. I guess time for drama. I wanted to hear a funny joke. Here, I'll tell you a funny joke, chat. Here's a funny joke. Guy walks into the doctor's office. He's, uh, he's got lesions. There was a plane crash. Hundreds of people dead. So what happens at the doctor's office? I don't know. That's it. That's the joke. Joe Piscopo humor is, is the best humor. Yeah, this, this doesn't really... 
Uh, I'm sorry to say, chat, but this isn't loading very quickly. And therefore, we cannot see the end of this. Is it on YouTube? Probably on YouTube, but I don't know if the upscaled footage is on YouTube. <laughs> Every time. Yeah, even the drama doesn't work now. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go to YouTube real quick and just see. Um, Spielberg director's chair. There's a behind the scenes video about this too. Um, there's a game trailer, there's a full playthrough, but level five part two. I was just speaking to you before I need the governor. She's expecting my call. Please put her on the phone. <laughs> Sleep. <laughs> Here's something. It's almost done. There's only like another five minutes of footage. Hello? 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 Are you still there? Yes? Hi, this is Laura. I was just speaking to you before I need the governor. She's expecting my call. Please put her on the phone. I don't care what she is doing. Would you please just get her out of the room? And I need to speak to her. <laughs> I don't care what she is doing. Would you please just get her out of the room? Then I need to speak to her. Time for a joke. Hello? Yes, Governor. Yes, yes, right, right away. Uh, it seems your girl has been playing uh, beat the clock and won. What about all those, like, guards that Tarantino shot and killed? Oh, that was in a different movie, I guess. It was a dream, it was a dream, it was a dream. I forgot about that, yeah. They paid Jennifer Aniston very well. Oh, oh no, that was a dream too. <laughs> I guess there's multiple choices. If if I had a lot more time and I learned how to do that the editing and all that stuff, I mean it would take hours. Vinny, why wait, don't you edit the movie yourself? Yeah. Yeah, you get to make like the way you want to do it. There's probably a couple things. But um That's what I got. It's an interesting piece of, of video game history, though, and, like, the fact that they got a bunch of big names for this is kind of bizarre. But, um... It was pretty cool. It's, I liked it. Um, I didn't learn how to do most of it, but... But... We also had some Vine Risening before, too, so... There's a chat member that desperately wants to see what the gun cake is. Vinny, it was bad. It was. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't disagree with that. No, 
I'm gonna see if I can get you to the gun cake. I'm gonna try very, very, very quickly just to get over there. I got it. Gun cake. <laughs> I talked with Laura. She's sure those magicians have framed you. And she figured out a way to get backstage at their club. Sorry, ma'am. Hopefully this will be worth it. I have something for you, son. I thought you'd get a blast out of this. <laughs> but it's it's a it what? <laughs> there was no gun inside of it. Um, Mom, I think you forgot something. Oh, you're right. You like walnuts. Uh, does anybody have a handy wipe? <sighs> okay, next. That was a good gag. <laughs>